Christopher Columbus and Vasco da Gama. These adventurous explorers of the 15th century didn't have a GPS nor a decent map. So what tool did they use for their discoveries? The answer is magnetic compass, which tells us the direction aligning itself with the Earth's magnetic field. Small, yet a powerful instrument and a reliable friend of the sailors in those days. That brings us to the topic of this video, magnetism. We will also see how moving charge affects magnetic field. So, let's get started. We can observe the use of magnets in our daily lives. They are used to make a tight seal on Almira doors and refrigerators. They even power speakers in headphones and televisions. What happens when we take some iron nails near a magnet? They are attracted to it and quickly get stuck. There is a region around magnetic material or a moving electric charge within which the force of magnetism acts. It is called a magnetic field. Magnetism has been known for more than 2000 years. However, it was only about 200 years ago it was realized that electricity and magnetism are closely related. In 1820, during one of his experiments, the Danish physicist Hans Christian Ustered noticed that a current in a straight wire caused a noticeable deflection in a nearby magnetic compass needle. When the current is large and the needle sufficiently close to the wire, Earth's magnetic field may be ignored. Reversing the direction of the current reverses the orientation of the needle. The deflection increases on increasing the current or bringing the needle closer to the wire. He concluded that moving charges or currents produced a magnetic field in the surrounding space. And this was the beginning of a revolution in the study of electromagnetism. To dig deeper into the concepts helical motion, cyclotron and more, log on to mbibe.com and learn with amazing videos.